In the recently concluded WWDC 2017, Apple had a plethora of changes to the software side of things, along with the new releases like the iMac Pro and the iPad Pro, and definitely the refreshes to the iMac as well as the MacBook Pro. But what does the changes to the software side of things have it for the photographers like you and me? Let's check it out. The good news is that for all the iOS users, Apple is bringing a new compression technology in the iOS 11. This would mean that there will be a saving of a 50% in the storage. Yes, you heard it right, a 50% saving in the storage space in your iOS devices. On a more technical level, HEVC is the new codec for the images and videos and the HEIF is the new image file format that Apple is introducing in iOS 11. HEVC, which is High Efficient Video Coding, has been around since 2015 and Apple had been using it in their FaceTime calls for better quality and better compression. It was also being used by Netflix and Amazon for non-mobile based uh, streaming. HEIF, which is a High Efficient Image Format, is basically a file format used by the HEVC encoded images and the extension for the same is HEIC. 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 EIC. The biggest advantage with the HEVC encoding is that the space saving. As I mentioned before, it's close to 50% of storage space saved when you're using this new encoding format. This would also mean that it will be having a better encoding as well as a faster way of sharing your images and videos on the social media as well as to your family and friends. What this would also mean is that you will be having cleaner and clearer videos even when there is a low bandwidth on your internet. Neither of these file formats or the encoding has been created by Apple and it has been around since 2015. It should be noted that the HEVC encoding is possible only in iPhone 7 or later which has the 8 and Fusion chip and it's not possible to create photos or videos using this encoding in the previous A9 generation chips. But the good news is that if you're using any of the older generation devices which have A9 or before, you can still view the images or photos recorded using the HEVC codec. As a word of caution, for all of you who are using the beta version of the iOS 11, Google Photos as of now is not supporting the auto upload of the HEVC encoded photos or videos into their cloud service. So please make sure that you back it up manually elsewhere. But we are still not sure whether Google will actually go ahead and support this particular file format. But as of this moment, when we're doing the beta testing, uh, it's, it's not supported for auto upload. Supported for auto upload. Supported for auto. But what we discussed all this while was file format for photos and videos on iOS devices. The camera app also got a huge bump when it comes to the features that it can come up with, especially on the live photos. Now you can record what is known as loop videos, bounce videos and even long exposure blur using your camera app in your iOS device, especially when you're using iOS 11. The loop and bounce is something similar to what you used to find like boomerang in the Instagram. Whereas the long exposure blur is something which all these days we wanted a DSLR type camera to capture it. But Apple has introduced all these new features all thanks to machine learning and artificial intelligence. And artificial intelligence. And artificial and it's not limited to just this. The portrait mode in the iOS 7 Plus also got a huge bump. It's now able to support HDR as well as image stabilization. That's definitely a huge leap considering the type of images that we were able to get using the portrait mode in the iPhone 7 Plus. So these were some of the changes that Apple introduced in iOS 11. What are the changes that you look forward to or you are more excited about with trying out in your iOS device? Please let me know in the comments below. That's it for this video. This is me Shiv signing off from technology. But three key things. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already and comment if you want to say something. And most importantly, keep smiling. 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 Keep smiling.